Hi there, a very warm welcome to Hack Announce and guys in this video tutorial we will see how to install and configure Android Studio in Ubuntu or Kali Linux. So guys without being said let's get started. Yeah. So guys are you having a low RAM of 4 GB and you want to run an Android Studio? So here's a solution for it because if you are using a Windows then there is no chance of using Android Studio in a 4 GB or 2 GB of RAM. But guys, if you are using a if you are a Linux user, then it is a quite easy for you because you can use Android Studio in 4 GB of RAM. And guys, currently recently I updated my RAM to 8 GB, but previously I have run Android Studio on 4 GB. And here I will show you. I will show you how to install Android Studio and also show you the load on my RAM. It will be maximum to maximum 3.5 GB and it will not go above. So now let's see how to do it. So guys, there are two ways to install Android Studio. First is simple sudo apt-get install Android Studio. But if you use that way, that will not help you to uh, get get out from the lag that that you get from Android Studio. Though, so the other other way is you need to download the zip file and you need to you need to directly run it from the bin folder. So now let's see how to do that. First of all, you need to go to the uh, directly Google and type uh, download and sorry, yeah. You directly go to Google and type download Android Studio and as you go to Android Studio after typing and download Android Studio on your Google Chrome you will see this first link and this first link will help you to download Android Studio and configure it in Linux. So you will need to open this link I am just opening it in new tab and here you will see download Android Studio for, for Linux here. So it is 468 MP file so I will just show you how to download but I will not download it full because I have previously downloaded it, it will take much time. And as you go to the bottom of this page, you can also see other uh, links that if you are using a Windows user, you can go here for Mac here, Linux. So here I am Linux user, you can directly go here and in the above page, you can also go there. So now it is showing I have the read agreements and I just click on open link in new tab because open link in sometimes there is chances that this will not download. But now my download is you can see here. Now my download has been started and it will take much time because my connection speed is not much high you can see it's just around uh, 10 6 gb it's not much it's very low speed actually so i'm just pausing this and i have already downloaded and i will open that zip file and before extracting this file we can see in the instructions here for 64 bit machines you just need to uh, copy this code because uh, for 60, these are the required libraries that are required by a 64-bit machine. You just need to paste it here, and you should download this uh, this libraries required for libraries, and it will work. And now we will go them and background, and we will just uh, go to our desktop. And I think in the terminal there is error, and it is showing that we need to update our libraries and fix machine. So I will do it later. First of all, we will see here is my Android Studio. I just extracted. So you can directly open with the archive manager or you can unzip it if you want don't know how to unzip it with terminal then you can see my previous tutorial i have already created a tutorial for zipping and unzipping files in linux so it's just extracting them and it will take much time uh, actually uh, because it's uh, 465 and it will come around 850 to 900 mb and now uh, for that time we will just fix this error it is showing try fix missing so i'll just click on this fix apt get update and just paste it here and guys if you don't see this error then don't worry directly you click that because they the, i'm getting this error because some of my repos are dead that's why it's showing this arrow so i am just copy and pasting it here and let's see that it will also take some time because there are some repos that are dead in my sources.d sources.d is the file used for uh, actually for adding some repos so it will add the repositories of android studio in my Linux file. So now let's see. Um, so now you can see my instruction is completed. Now I close and open that. And as I open, here's the Android Studio folder. You will get that type of Android Studio folder. And that you need to go directly go to the bin folder here. And this bin here is the main file. The main file is this studio.ss. This file we need to execute this file. So for execution, and guys, if you are not a root user, then you might need to. Uh, use the open this folder as a root and then you need to try this and if you don't know please comment out i will tell you i'll just copying this and just pasting it here and opening this android studio and you, as you can see currently my system load is around 2.1 gb and let's see how much load does it take so we will check whether we are able to run this in 4 gb of ram because i am having 7.7 gb so i think there is no lag on if you are having a 8 gb of ram so it is just opening my previous projects actually and if i open a new project and let's see 
what it's opening so i just click new and uh, as i click new here it will open as usually i have always all also having some projects on my previous android that's why it's just fetching my previous projects and uh, it's just refreshing the sdk here and we can create directly create a project and uh, here we will see how to create a hello world application and click next and uh, here this is a minimum sdk version so minimum sdk is on the minimum on which minimum android will work so minimum 16 is uh, jelly bean it means 99 percent of our device can run this so click next and these are the activities you can choose any activity that you want so i'm just checking empty activity and finish so my main purpose here is just to check whether how to install this android so i think now you know how to install it and if you are having some errors then please comment here and i can help you and guys actually i'm also having android studio here previously that's why it not show the option of downloading the sdks so you might get that option so don't worry about that just click on next and you will download all the sdks and you should have a good internet connection for this and let's check that what is the ram weight and i just need to close this previous project actually and let's see so guys now you can see here my project is here and wait it's opening and guys you should have some patience by using android studio because i'm sure if you are a windows user then you are using android studio on windows you know that how much time does it take for building a grad in 4 gb of ram or 8 gb of ram so guys now you can see here my android studio is open my activity is open and currently the ram that it is using is 3.2 gb and i'm having a core i3 processor and it's using my 10 to 11 percent of processor so it's quite fast than windows so i think now you know and uh, other things what we can do is we can just connect our mobile to our android studio uh, with the help of adb drivers like you do with the, in windows with the help of adb drivers or so sometimes sometimes you are using pdnet so in the next tutorial we will see how to do that how to connect our android phone and test our apps so here you can see the first step that you will get here will be a hello world app simple hello world app so here you can go to design i think i will get a text view of hello world so we will just test this app on in our next tutorial that how to connect this uh, with our phone and let's see how to test them so i think now you know and how to configure android studio and as i previously said if you are having an error please uh, comment in the uh, comment in the comment box and i will try to resolve it as soon as possible so i think that's it for this tutorial you know how to configure android studio and linux so bye bye and have a nice day